frustrated by what she believes was bullying of her third grade son with fewer than three weeks left in the school year. An upstate mom, Jamie Rathburn, uh, entered Greenbrier Elementary School and confronted his classmates. Uh, She then left and was arrested three days later. Uh, She was charged with disturbing schools and and booked into the Greenville County Detention Center before being released on a personal recognizance bond. Uh, Ms. Rathburn says that she regrets her actions but remains concerned about bullying for her son and other children and that she's uh, disappointed in the response that she's gotten from the Greenville County School District. Joining me for a few minutes this morning, uh, Jamie Rathburn, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I've been better. It's, it's uh, sound, sounds been like you. It sounds like you have had better days. So, Ms. Rathburn, walk me through this. Uh, obviously, uh, your son has had some issues there, and and bullying really is that's a big issue in school these days, right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, we're losing kids left and right to suicide, and it all boils down to bullying. You know, these kids aren't having the mental health that they need to be able to deal with these difficult life situations that they come across. And if we don't provide them the tools that they need now, how do we expect them to function at 19 and 29 in the real world? Right. Right. So so your son was having some issues. There, there were some kids uh, bullying him at school. Uh, the and, same and, kids and, and consistently you, all year. And, and had you uh, talked with teachers and administrators about this? Yes, we had. I had sent several emails. Um, I had several meetings. I had emailed the um, assistant superintendent. Um, and any time I had asked the superintendent about how to go about filing a formal uh, an administrative complaint, the conversation got pushed to another topic, um, a, a, another part of the conversation, and because. You know, there. You know, this has been going on so long, so I'm emotional, and I don't bring it back to that point. And sure. so, I still yet to find out how to go about doing that. I, I've still yet to find out. And they're like, "Oh, well, we give you this information at the beginning of the year." I'm like, "That's a long time ago. Do you know how much paper I have yeah. in just one year? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like, send and, me that info again. Yeah. And, and and how much time could it take for them to give it to you again <laughs> if you need hey, it? Uh, so, it's so, not are, that hard, right? So, so you so you weren't getting a response. From uh, the the teachers, the administrators, well, they, they responded, but I don't feel as though they responded appropriately. You, you they told my yeah. child to ignore it because they were they, the kids were trying to get a reaction out of him. Yeah, and that's hard, that's hard to do sometimes as a kid. I mean, you you can't just ignore uh, bullies. All right, so this was happening. You weren't getting the response that you uh, felt like you needed. They weren't doing anything about it. So you decided to go over to the school this morning and and you went to his class and and take it from there. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I decided to go to a school and give them a piece of my mind, basically, and it wasn't right, but mm-hmm. I, and I don't know that I would, I don't know what I could have done differently to get the issues in the spotlight, because when my son asked for help, he went unheard. Nobody listened. Nobody seemed to care. When I politely asked and followed all the rules and gave them all of the sport support that they needed to be able to do their job in whatever capacity that they needed to, I felt as though I was just being told what I I wanted to hear to get me out the door. And my son would come home the same day and there would be more issues. Like it wasn't addressed. And the breaking point for me was when I told the principal, I expected her, my exact words were, I expect you to handle this efficiently and effectively, or I'm going to be forced to file an administrative complaint on the heels of me leaving the office from saying that, they turned around and retaliated what I felt like was retaliation on my child yeah. because all year yeah. long they didn't do nothing to protect him. And now they want to single him out. The teacher follows him all day. They only allow him to play on certain equipment on the playground. Um, you know, he has to sit with the teacher at lunch. And then they tell him that the teacher's going to be with him for the rest of the year since he's an instigator. Yeah. This wow. is all, all right, so, wrong. So Ms. On top of yeah. that, the secretary went and posted, she violated the Child Privacy Act by posting personal information on Facebook about my child. And then when she was called out on it, deleted it. You don't think they're going to try to cover that up? Of yeah. course they are. I'm not asking for jobs. I'm just asking them to do what I did. Yeah. Admit you were wrong, apologize, and work with me on finding a better solution for all of these children. Okay.